Hi book friends, I'm Erin and this is Erin Go Read. <laughs> So this is going to be my April TBR and I have two factors that are going to determine the books that land on my TBR this month. One is my Great American Reads Challenge and I'll link the video uh, for my Great American Reads announcement and the explanation about what that is down below and above as well. And then the Great or the Magical Readathon, Owls Readathon 2019 is happening and so in the Harry Potter world um, as the kids advance, uh, what is it, year five, they have to take their owls, their ordinary wizarding levels. All right, my dog is trying to get some love. <sighs> okay, we got a little tangled. Okay, um, the ordinary wizarding level and based on your the results of that, then your advanced test, your newts, um, will determine your, your future, your occupation in the wizarding world. And so the creator has done so much work on this. I will link her video, her announcement video down below, and she has resources for the explanation. Shaky dog. She has resources for the, or links for the information about the readathon, as well as this amazing, like, magazine practically that she made that looks super, like, canon authentic about, um, like what what owls you would need for for whatever um, occupation that you wish to pursue so some are going to be require much more some are going to require fewer um, and of course you know you're grown up you can do whatever you want but it's fun to uh, to go with the challenge so what i'm going to do is i made myself a little tbr margaritaville shaker here of the great american read books that i have left to read that I own a copy of already and I will try to make whatever comes up fit into one of the current one of the owl categories so let's see. shake 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 Tom Cruise and cocktail okay I'm gonna pick three and then I will put two of the books on my TBR. And the reason I wanted to move to like a TBR jar kind of thing for my Great American Read project is I've been reading the books, but I've been choosing the ones I'm most interested in. And I don't want to end up at the end of it with basically a list of the 15 books that I like am not as interested in reading. So, and that's part of the whole purpose of doing this Great American Read project is to introduce myself to new authors, new genres, new types of books that I wouldn't ordinarily pick up on my own. So, ah, okay, I dropped one, so that'll be one. Nope, oh, if the dog doesn't eat it. Did you put it in your mouth? Straight from the dog's mouth. Thank you, Stevie. This is number 96. This is White Teeth by Zadie Smith. So I have that one right here. So White Teeth by Zadie Smith. I've not yet any read any Zadie Smith yet, so this will be a first for me. And I think this one will qualify for, um, yeah, I can make this one work for the readathon. So I'll, I'll get to that in a bit. Okay, I'm gonna choose three and then pick two of the three. So maybe that will be one. Okay, number two. It was easier to open when it was wet from the dog's mouth. Gulliver's Travels by Jonathan Swift. And what's that, number 72? Okay, so I have White Teeth and Gulliver's Travels. I have to be honest, I'm not super psyched about the idea of Gulliver's Travels. Okay, number three is Don Quixote. Number 68 on the Great American Read. Okay, I can tell you Don Quixote is a big, that's a big read. It's actually, eh, it's right there. I'm not really feeling reading Don Quixote at the moment. So yeah, I think I'm gonna try to make um, White Teeth. Yeah, yeah, White Teeth and Gulliver's Travels fit into my uh, Owls Challenge. Okay, so I think I have myself organized now. I figured out where White Teeth and Gulliver's Travels are gonna fit in. So as I said earlier, 
I would choose to pursue the career of being an Auror, and that would require me to take Charms, Defense Against the Dark Arts, Herbology, Potions, and Transfiguration. So for each um, owl that you take, there's a prompt related to the type of book that you would read. So for Charms, um, it's the age lines. Remember when um, the Weasley twins were trying to figure out, trying to put their name into the Goblet of Fire, and but the Dumbledore put the age line around so no one um, underage could um, try to put their name in. So you have to read an adult book. It's a pretty broad category. 90% of what I read are adult books, and so that's where White Teeth is going to fit in. Uh, next is Defense Against the Dark Arts, and that is uh, Reducto, so a book that starts with the letter R, and I have a new release. This is The Raven Tower by Anne Leckie. Now, Anne Leckie is known as a uh, sci-fi author. She wrote the Ancillary Justice books, which I just happened to pick up. I'd been looking for a used copy and just happened to pick up a copy um, just last week, and I haven't read it yet. Uh, because I was waiting to get through this one first. So this is her, as far as I understand, her first go at fantasy. Next up is Herbology, and this is a book with a plant on the cover. And I have the Poisonwood Bible by Barbara Kingsolver. This is the, um, like the Centennial Edition, what's the, it's a special edition, the Harper Perennial Modern Classics Edition. And we have the trees there on the front. And so I was hoping, I really wanted to read this book this month anyhow, and so I was hoping that I'd be able to fit this in somewhere for my owls. Um, next up is Potions, which is Next Ingredient, so the sequel to a series. So I have two books that I'm waiting on from the library, Gray Sister by Mark Lawrence, which is the sequel to Red Sister, and I believe Holy Sister book three comes out in like April or May, so very soon. I really enjoyed Red Sister. We have a um, girl main character. I can't remember exactly. She's like 12-ish and she is at a, she lives in a monastery. It's basically magical fighting nuns. So that's, it's pretty awesome. So um, Grey Sister I should be getting within the next few days, I think. And then I also have, I'll have some options and flexibility on this one is The Vicious Vet by M.C. Beaton. It's the second in the Agatha Raisin uh, Cozy Mystery series. So that's for potions. Um, the next up is, this is the, my last required reading for my, for my owls to be an aura, and that is Transfiguration. And that is a book with sprayed edges or red on the cover. I don't have any books with, with sprayed edges. So I went with the book with a uh, red cover, and this is Alice Isn't Dead by Joseph Fink. Um, I've never heard anything about this. I saw this at Half Price Books, I think like around Christmas time, like the Christmas sales. It's a signed first edition, and I believe it's um, it's like a mystery, maybe a th I'm not sure if it's a thriller. Um, although, I mean, a truck and a skull, I think it may be a a thriller so um, this one it's also it's a naked hardback it has that kind of like soft like rubbery kind of feel to it so I was just really this was a cover buy for the most part um, this isn't a story it's a road trip so ooh, and it has nice has fun end papers too so yeah so I'm looking forward to that one now I suppose this is also a required read because I'm making it a required re a required read. So Gulliver's Travels I'm going to use for History of Magic, and that is a book that is was published more than ten years ago. Well, Gulliver's Travels was was published in 1726, so I think that one qualifies. So that's for History of Magic, and just because I'm an overachiever. Um, if I feel like doing, taking some, taking on some extra owls, I have, uh, for care of magical creatures, um, it is to read a book with a land animal on the cover, and I have John Burnside's The Dumb House, and this is, there's like, the main character, 
hears about this story, like an experiment where um, newborn babies were raised in silence and that like gets into his head and then he ends up con con uh, conducting some experiments on his own children when he grows up. So, and, and there is a, it's upside down, but there's a rabbit here on the cover and it might be a dead rabbit. That might be blood, unless it's a beet. No, I think that's blood. So, it doesn't look like it turns out well for the rabbit. So we have that, and then finally for, what's that class called? Muggle Studies, read a contemporary book, and I have Where'd You Go Bernadette by Maria Semple. Now, I am actually like a third of the way through this right now. Um, I don't foresee myself finishing this up in March, and so, um, I'm just going to continue it on in into April because I'm just I'm more into the other things that I'm reading right now and um, I this might be the only contemporary book that I own I just don't tend to tend to read contemporary so that is what nine books so these are seven of the possible nine books that I will be reading in April for my Great American Read Project and for the Magical Readathon Owls 2019. Are you going to be participating in the Magical Readathon? I will link that original video for you below so you can check out uh, more about what that's out. Uh, so you can check out all the details. Have you read any of these books? Let me know down in the comments. Give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. See you on the tubes.